Well, a couple of days ago, probably a few days ago, it was probably Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember the exact date. All I know is I was at work and my girlfriend told me I got a big box. This is from Limited Run. Now, if you've seen my video entitled Limited Run, you got me. You would know that one day there was a game that I really wanted and I had purchased two games before it. When I went to go purchase the other one, it was put into my cart. But when I went to go check out, the game was sold out. Now you have two times with limited run to purchase the games. They run it twice and then for the most part you cannot buy it again unless you go on eBay and spend a whole lot of money. Well twice this happened to me. I got the thing in my car and it sold out. But of course limited run had my back. They had a bundle that cost a hundred and ninety some dollars. Two hundred and twelve dollars I think with shipping that had every game and the collector's editions that they were doing that day so not only did i buy two games earlier i bought them again in this bundle just to get one thing now i had mentioned that at some point there were going to be links to some of them i will be selling them on ebay because obviously i don't need multiple copies but it's in this box let's get this box open see exactly what it was then unbox the collector's edition of it, see what came in that box, and find out exactly what I spent over $200 on. Welcome back to another episode of this one in the frame of Within the Box on the We Dean channel. And as I said, we're gonna be opening this really big box from Limited Run. First time I've ever bought anything this expensive from Limited Run. Limited Run got me. It was something that I really wanted, a collector's edition of a, a re-release of a game that I used to love as a child. And the only way I could get it was to buy this bundle, which was $212 with shipping. Now before we get into this box, see exactly what came in the bundle. I also got this smaller box from Limited Run. I figure I might as well open this as well on camera. I don't know if it's the other two games or the other game that I had purchased that day that will be in that bundle as well. But who knows? Let's get this box open, see what's in this, and then get to that big box. Got my handy dandy multi-tool. Take out the blade. And in here is, yes, those two games that I had purchased which will be in the bundle as well, and that is the Metronomicon, which honestly, that cover looks pretty cool. Like the colors on these pop really well. I just love the art style of it. I think it's a rhythm game, of course. Hopefully, I enjoy it. I used to play Guitar Hero a little. I really didn't get into it as much as everybody else did. And then you also got Revenant Saga, which looks fairly good, like... I am not an RPG fan. I never have been. The only RPG I really liked was Kingdom Hearts. All right, now let's get to this big box. This is the bundle I paid over 200 something dollars on. I know I keep repeating that because I am kind of salty. I spent that much money. We're going to get this open, see what came in this box, see exactly why I was compelled to buy this. And then we're going to talk about possibly some of the things in this box being sold on eBay. If you're interested and you didn't get it that day, you have another chance. You have a Revenant Saga on the Vita, which obviously you've just seen. I got that in the other box. That's two copies. You got Oddworld Munch's Odyssey on the Vita, which this is the game that I wanted. This is the game I loved as a child when I had my original Xbox. I really wanted it on the Vita. That's one copy of that. I have the Metronomicon soundtrack, which originally when I was purchasing this, I was thinking about selling this, and unfortunately I kind of like it, so I might not be selling it. Then you have Revenant Saga on the PS4. That's a third copy of this game. And now another copy of Metronomicon on the PS4. Needless to say, I don't need all these copies, so someone will have the opportunity to purchase this if they did not get the chance to the day it was released on Limited Run. What the heck just happened? Ah, nice! And you get the playing cards. When I bought 
Odd World Strangers Wrath HD. There was a coupon code for getting this deck free. This deck goes for ten dollars. I actually think when it first started, this deck was actually going for fifty dollars, which is ridiculous. I may be wrong, but I think it was. I let that expire, didn't get it. I now have the deck. Actually, I'm pretty happy to have this deck. I can't wait to open this and see what the cards actually look like. I probably won't be playing with it. Who knows? Maybe I will. As always, you get your limited run redeemable coupons, your rewards. I have enough to get a free game. They're sitting over here, and I keep forgetting to send them in the limited run. I don't know how these fell. You also get your collectible limited run cards. I like that they do this. And once again, look at that Metronomicon card. It looks amazing. Then you got Revenant Saga. I have actually two different ones. This one kind of has a foil look to it. Got this one. I think this is might be from Revenant Saga too because it doesn't look like any of the other two games. And here's the whole reason why I forced myself into buying this bundle. And that's the Collector's edition of Odd Worlds Munch's Odyssey and look at that totally refreshed limited edition collector's item featuring well let's not say let's actually get this thing open and see what comes inside but you can look at the box they did a really good job here's the back of it hopefully that light isn't shining and blocking out most of this I'm sure it is but they did a good job. Let's get this open. But before we get this open, let's look at what else they put in the box. And they actually put protective cases for the games in here. You can purchase these on Limited Run. They did give some free inside this Collector's Edition box. And looks like I dropped one of the cards. I know you probably can't see it on camera, but this is embossed. That's kind of cool. And the box actually slides open it won't come off and i'm not gonna pull it and rip it you obviously get the game on the ps vita i think you could have bought the collector's edition with the ps4 version you get the soundtrack and you get a couple of collector's edition i wouldn't say they're postcards but these will definitely look nice if i frame them Here's another one, and you get a really cool looking poster, and it's double sided, the one side, which that looks pretty cool. I like this side better. It's kind of a sketched with limited colors to it, it looks really cool. There's also one more item here, which is kind of cool. I can see myself kind of breaking this. It's a Munch's Odyssey soda can. It says refreshingly twisted, 100% unnatural additives. And on the bottom, it they went as far as actually putting a stain here that looks like some sort of soda or drink was dropped on it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's right here. Right there, it does look cool. This can... It's really cool and really authentic looking. Well, guys, that's what you got inside the box. That's what I got from Limited Run. I'm a big fan of Limited Run. The last two times I really haven't purchased anything. There was one game I was interested in, but kind of spending too much money. And like I said, there will be a couple of things that will be on eBay. It's going to be one copy of the Net Metronomicon that's going to be up for sale on eBay. They will be auction style sales. Unfortunately, I'm not going to put the soundtrack on. I was originally going to do that. I kind of really like it, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to have up for sale a copy of Revenant Saga on the PS4. Revenant Saga on the Vita. Those will be up on eBay, so do check those out. The links will be in the description down below if you did not get the opportunity to purchase those and also a copy of Munch's Odyssey on the Vita. I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Within the Box. Uh, if you did happen to get some of these, let me know if you purchased that bundle on purpose or you got forced into it just because you wanted that Munch's Odyssey. Let me know if there's been any other limited run games that 
you spent way too much money on or any games for that matter that you spent way too much on just because you really really wanted it but you hated yourself for spending it down in the comments below don't forget to check those links out to those games i will have them up today hopefully if you liked what was contained in this video as always please hit the thumbs up consider sharing amongst your friends and if you're interested to see more from the we dean channel or also me do this with my hands please hit that subscribe button